so a leaf has three parts first part of leaf is this one at the leaf at the base of the petiole there is at the base of stalk there is leaf base and this is the expanded portion of a leaf let's say this is expanded portion. this one is leaf base this is stalk what we call as petiole and this is lamina leaf lamina When this leaf lamina is intact, it is not cut into pieces, it is continuous, such a leaf is called simple leaf. Now imagine, this lamina is cut into pieces something like this. Let us say, this is This is how the lamina is cut into pieces here. Say so this is the midrib. Let us say <coughs> here is the first part of this lamina cut into a smaller region. One more on this side. Let us say this entire lamina is divided into small divisions like this, something like this. So what will happen because of this now, see, <coughs> here this lamina is cut into pieces, such a leaf we call as compound leaf. This leaf is called compound leaf. When this lamina is cut into pieces, the leaf is called compound leaf. And when it is not cut into pieces, something like this, then it is entire lamina, uncut lamina, such a type of leaf is called simple leaf. When this lamina is cut into smaller pieces, then this leaf is called compound leaf. The compound leaf may be of two types. Such a leaf is called pinnately compound leaf. And let's say here is one more example we are taking <clears throat> this is simple leaf but it is having multi-costate venation let us consider this is lamina and this lamina is entire here. This is also a simple leaf. Now let's do one thing. I'm going to cut this lamina into pieces here. This lamina I have cut into pieces. Now here there are three leaflets. This is also compound leaf, but the difference is, this is called palmate leaf compound leaf. When leaflet arise at a single point, then it is called palmate leaf compound leaf. And when leaflet arise on a common axis, 
then it is called innately compound. 